Today we're going to continue talking about leather working by introducing you to some must-have tools if you want to get started in leather crafting. First and foremost is going to be our utility knife. There's a lot of different knives in leather working, but we like this one because it allows you to cut straight edges, round corners, skive, and it's ambidextrous. So if you're left or right handed, it'll work for you. The next tool is going to be our edge beveler set. This set comes with five different sizes. So no matter what size you need for your project, you'll have it. So after you cut out your leather, you're going to have sharp edges. This tool allows you to remove those sharp edges and round them out, which prepares it for the next step of edge burnishing. This is a hand burnisher. This uses friction to lay the edges smooth, giving them a shiny, glossy, professional look. And as you can see here, it has different sized grooves that accommodates many different leather thicknesses. The next tool we're gonna to talk about is our scratch all. Like fabric, you use a marking pencil. Leather, you can use a scratch all to transfer your pattern or template onto your leather, reference holes, and any measurements you may need. Let's move on to the stitch groover. The stitch groover cuts a straight, even line in your leather, preparing the surface to be stitched. Whether that's hand or machine, the stitch will actually sit below the surface of the leather, so the stitch will not get snagged, so it essentially protects your stitch. Next, we're gonna talk about our mallet and hole cutter. If you have a project that requires a lot of holes, like a belt, or you need certain hardware to be installed, you're gonna to wanna to have these handy. Also, the mallet is great if you have a stamp that you wanna put into your leather. Making sure you have the right surface when working with leather is vital. Here we have three surfaces. First is our double-sided cutting mat. This has fractional and metric measurements. It's five layers, self-healing, and comes in four different sizes, so no matter the project, we'll have the right one for you. This mat is great for your stitch groovers, edge bevelers, scratch alls, and leather cutting knives. Now if you're going to be skiving, you're gonna need a hard surface. And here we have our Sailrite tempered cutting glass. The last surface you're gonna need is a cutting block. Here we have Sailrite's portable cutting block. This is small, portable, and great for punching holes. Lastly is our leather strop. There's nothing more important than maintaining your edge and keeping your tool sharp. This allows you to do so by having two sides. One side is for your leather compound, the other side is for polishing. And this tool is long lasting because you can replace each leather stropping side. So there you have it. These are our basic tools to get you started in leather working. We've linked each tool down below, as well as a blog that goes a little bit more in depth on each tool. So be sure to like and subscribe, and be sure to tune in next week for our latest leather DIY.